How you doing everyone? It's Kevin. I'm going to be wiring up this Smith & Jones uh, one and a half horsepower uh, motor. It's a 3600 RPM motor. I'm going to be wiring this up for one, uh, 115 volts. So I thought I'd bring you guys along and let you see how it's done. That way if you happen to get one of these motors, this is actually a motor from Harvard Freight. A horse and a one and a half horsepower. I'm using it on my belt sander. I built a uh, two by 72 inch belt sander and I'm going to be wiring it up. So I thought I'd bring you guys along and just show you how it's done. And that way, in case we ever lose uh, the wiring diagrams, we'll always be able to look back on this video and be able to tell how to wire it up. So um, let's get to it. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open the back of this uh, box here up so we could expose the wires that are in here. Now, if you notice on the back of this motor, you have a diagram right here on the back here. It's got for low voltage and then high voltage. So if we ever lose this stuff, we'll be able to go back in here and watch the video and be able to hook this thing all back up. <clears throat> okay, now in my case, I want to run this machine clockwise and I want to run it at 115 volts. So at 115 volts, here's the wires I'm going to have put together. This one here, I'm going to use L2, be lead 2, T2, T4, and T8. So what I'll do is I'll come up to these wires up here, which I've already done. And I got, if you look on the side, you got, there's T8. I go on T8. T2, got T2 there. And T4, that's T4. Now, on the other side, on this side over here, we're going to wire these just together. That'll be P2, T3, and T5. So, and that's what I've done here. I got those three wires, P2, T3, and T5, wired up on there. So all we're going to do here is we're going to wire this one together. These are just going to be wired together. Now, on this, we're going to have a neutral wire, your white one. I'm going to hook my white one to this one. This will be L1. It should be P1. It's P1. So I'm going, to, I'm going to hook my white wire onto this, which will be my neutral wire. And my hot wire will hook onto here, which will be the black wire. And then I'm going to put a green wire on my ground down here and make sure it's bolted up and tightened down. So I'm going to be putting a switch in here. So I have a piece of 12-2 wire. I'm going to use a piece of 12-2 wire and I'm going to feed down through here and come up into my box and go ahead and wire up this switch. What I'll be doing is I'll be using the white and the black wire in this and I'll be using both of them as hots. So that way I only have to run one piece of wire up through there, hook them two together, one on one side of the switch and one on the other side of the switch. I'll show you how I'm going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and pull this switch apart. I uh, actually just put this thing together just to keep all the parts in here. Keep them all together. Don't want to lose anything. So I'm going to go ahead and fish my wire up through there and I'll get this thing ready to wire up and I'll get you guys back in here. Alright, the first wire I hooked up in there was this ground wire. I got it down in the bottom here and hooked in this box on that green bolt right there, that green nut. Green bolt. Well, anyhow, we're going to go ahead and strip these guys down and get them hooked on to our wire. And I'm going to use this one as a hot wire too. So in order for me to use that with a, for a hot wire, I'm going to take a piece of black tape and I'm going to wrap it around it so I know that that is a hot wire if I ever open this up again. 
So I'm just going to take a piece of black tape and wrap it around this. This will tell me that I'm using this as a hot wire. So now there really should be no mistaking that that is a hot wire now. Hopefully none. So we're going to go ahead and strip these guys off a little bit so we can get them hooked to our switch. Okay. Now we're going to put our, the black one is going to be our power in. We're going to put him on the bottom. Now if you watch the way you turn these when you twist this wire, you always want to twist that wire in the counter or in the clockwise position. That way when you tighten up the screw, it tightens it with it. It'll pull it around, not pull it out. Okay. We'll do the same thing with this one. Get a hook on it. Alright, I run this wire from the switch up through here, and then I got a heavy gauge wire here that I'm going to use for my plug-in for this thing. So, what I did is I put them up through this hole in the bottom, and I'm going to put this zip tie on them to keep them from coming back out. Hopefully this guy here will... I don't have a clamp for in there, but I want to keep them so they don't pull back out. So we'll use this zip tie here. With this zip tie on there, it shouldn't come through the hole. Now that should keep them from coming out of there. So we'll go ahead and get some of this cleaned up so we can get it wired up. We don't need all this wire either. That's that 12 tube coming to my switch. Snipper off up here. We'll go ahead and get this wire and stuff stripped down. Now, as you see, I already have a ground here. Now, this is going to go back in the back here to this bolt back here. I might as well get it on there now and get it out of the way because it's behind everything else. Okay, I wanted to show you guys. I hooked that ground up that was inside the switch up there. I hooked it to the ground here too and I just put a connector down in here, a wire nut, to keep those, I got both of them connected. So now uh, we know that, remember this is going to be a hot wire here. This is the hot wire on the top of the switch. So we're going to mark it with a piece of tape to let us know that it's a hot wire. So I'll just take a piece of tape and we'll wrap it around it. So we're just going to wrap a piece of black tape around this so we know this is a hot wire. This is going up to the switch. Okay. Now this one here, this wire here is coming from the plug-in. This is the black one coming from the plug-in right here. So I'm going to take it and it's going to run to the other side of the switch, the, the lower side of that switch. So we're going to cut it off. Go ahead and strip it down and get it wired to the bottom side of that switch. So that switch is what's going to send all the power back here to run our motor. Okay, the bottom of the switch is hooked to the power wire coming from our plug. Our neutral, we got wired into T, it's P1, P1 on our box here. 
And now we're going to wire up our top wire to our switch to our T2, T4, and T8. If we're going All to right. run cut, cut. Now, I know I'm not the brightest guy in the world. That's for daggone sure. I just got through doing this whole entire video. Everything was done, wired up, and I wired this thing up for clockwise. Alright, so I got done with the video and everything, and I drew my belt on here, and not even paying attention, I drew the belt on this thing, and it's running counterclockwise. Okay, so I guess my clockwise from looking on your side would go this way. But my clockwise from looking at this side would go this way. So, hey. I got it screwed up, so now I'm going to have to redo this video. I'm going to tell you which wires you're going to need for... <clears throat> whatever you do, look behind your motor. And don't look at it from this way and go clockwise. Uh, look at it from the back of the motor and go clockwise. I don't understand it, but I had to hook this thing up counterclockwise in order to get it to work. I don't understand it. I had to wire this thing up counterclockwise to get it to go the way, the direction that I wanted it to go. Well, I don't understand that. That's counter, well I guess that would be, if you're looking at this side it's clockwise. If you're looking at for this side it's counterclockwise. So whatever you do, you want to look at your motor from the back side of your motor to the front. So this is actually running the motor in counterclockwise motion. Uh, so. I had to end up having to wire it up counterclockwise and I had to go by this one here. Uh, I had to hook the T2, T4, and T5. And I hooked the P2, T3, and T8 together. And I used the P1 as my neutral. So that's how I got it wired up. And we finally got it all back in there, and it does work in the right direction. And it's going that way, and that's the direction I wanted it. So I, I take it that that is counterclockwise on this motor. Um, so don't look at it from this direction when you're going clockwise and counterclockwise. Look at it from this direction here. So you're actually going counterclockwise. So, good lesson for me to learn because I had to go back in and wire all that back up. But it wasn't that hard. As long as you got those right there, as long as you got all that, and that's what you need to wire it up for 220, uh, 115 volt, 130 volt, clockwise and counterclockwise. I hope you guys can see that. Okay, I'm just going to tuck these wires back in here. Everything's hooked up nice and tidy. Oh, uh, I'll tell you, I really honestly didn't know which direction I was going in because I, I thought it was clockwise, but I guess from looking from that direction there, it's a counterclockwise. So, we're going to go ahead and bolt this thing back together and get back onto our sander, working on our sander here. I hope you guys enjoyed the little video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, leave me a thumbs up, thumbs down, or comment if you'd like. Till next time.